I know I probably have no subscribers. Hello, YouTube. Hello, YouTube. Am I on YouTube? Oh, I guess I'm on. Okay. So, where do I start? So, obviously, you guys can see that a lot has changed for the matter. Um, so, basically, what has been happening the past, like, three years... So, basically, I've been going through quite a bit, actually, and, you know, that's why I kind of went MIA for a minute, but really, what can you do, honestly? I mean, shit fucking happens. It does. Um, hopefully, you guys can hear me from my music. Um, let me actually... Just a little bit. Okay. As I just hit my fucking chin on my bed. Hello, Layla. And as you guys can see, I have a beautiful oh, being I call my dog that is such a fucking dick. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. You're gonna kill me one of these days. Stop. Yeah, sit your ass down. Oh, I don't know what hurts more, my jaw or my shin. All right, you guys, let's get down to the point because my internet is probably gonna be fucking terrible. Layla, stop. This is Layla. Layla Noel, I got her a fucking middle name, judge me, at this point. Um, Alright, so, let's start. So, my last update was around, I don't know, three years ago in February, and I was starting my minoxidil treatment. So, I will say, let's, let's break it down. So I was on minoxidil for probably about eight months. And within those eight months, my heart rate was skyrocketing so much to the point that I was passing out. I was having such a hard time breathing. And I went to my doctor and I was having a really bad anxiety attack. And he's like, let's do an EKG because this really worries me. So I did an AK, blah, EKG test, and he's like, okay, I'm going to send you to a cardiologist, whatever. I went to a cardiologist, and she's like, how long have you been on minoxidil? I don't know, about six to eight months. I probably do it when I wake up and right before I go to bed, if not periodically throughout the day. And turns out minoxidil is a low breath, blah. It's for people who have high blood pressure that take it to lower their, their I got that mixed up. Uh, it's for people who have high blood pressure, low blood pressure, holy shit. People who have low, high blood, I'm going to fuck this up. People who have low blood pressure take minoxidil for their high blood to make their blood pressure higher because it's too low. Okay. You need to chill. You are a definition of a child. Definition of a child, baby. Okay, go away. I'm just... All right. So, another thing that has changed, uh, I'm gonna, let's just make this YouTube video about my dog annoying me. Ow. Mm. Mm. 
My name is Layla, and I am an asshole. All right. 1111. Whoever I got, I got you. All right. As I'm listening to Elderwind on Spotify. This shouldn't be a five minute video because my dog is so fucking distracting. All right. Another thing has changed. Um, I will say that I have been through quite a bit as far as like not only my transition, but also mentally. Uh, I have been seeing a counselor for probably about the last, I want to say six months. I have been seeing a counselor for my, I don't know why you chew on things, you chew on fucking everything. All right. Layla's almost four months. I got her when she was six weeks old. Isn't that right, baby? Yeah. And she's a dick, and she fucking knows it. Anyways, let's get back to my what I'm trying to do here, because I get so fucking distracted. A lot has changed, as you can see. Um, as far as my transition goes, I have been back and forth with my hysterectomy, and recently I have came across a really good surgeon who is absolutely amazing. And I will say I am his first transgender patient and he was all for it. Like he was a, I don't know where to start with this guy. Like he is, he is absolutely great. Um, first thing he said to me was, Oh, so you're Jacob. Usually I see women. I'm like, I'm glad on your first man. Like, cool. Um, but yeah, the whole experience was amazing. I couldn't ask for another surgeon because the surgeon I did have planned to, uh, I called them a little over a month and a half ago and they were like, oh, well, he's retiring in the next couple of months. And I'm like, oh, okay. Uh, so I called my doctor, told him to refer me to someone else. Turns out this guy is, I've heard a lot of good reviews and I'm content with it. I mean, turns out, so I was supposed to have surgery about late September, early October. Good time span, right? I had my uh, appointment August 20th with him. Uh, we talked for about 30, 40 minutes. And he came out with a surgery waiver, and I'm like, dude, I've never been this fucking close to surgery, you know? Uh, turns out I got my surgery pills, whatnot, all that sort of jazz, and called insurance, bugging them, like, hey, I need my surgery now. Like, what's going on? Turns out my insurance doesn't really cover it, so I'm looking at better options. Uh, I was, of course, I was really upset about it. Don't get me wrong. Um, Layla, people are going to fucking have a, like, motion sickness because they're watching me wobble around because you won't hold still. <sighs> Don't look at me like that. Don't look at me like that. Quit. Enough. Put you in your fucking crate. Oh, who's a good girl? Who's a good girl? You are when you want to be. Uh uh. I'm not playing with you. All right. Anyways. Yeah. So I'm having a hard time with 
relax. Having a really hard time with, like, I guess I wouldn't say hard times because we all go through all that kind of shit and it's tough. I mean, we both, we all can say it is tough, but I feel like I need to restart this video because my dog is so distracting. Okay, that has been the only downfall of what's been going on in the past three years is my hysterectomy. So I will say that the reason why I want the hysterectomy more than my top surgery is because I have been told I make it as a compliment as much as possible that I don't need top surgery right now or I don't need it at all. Um, I still have a lot of dysphoria when it comes down to it because I do not like the way I look. I really don't. I will say that. And I know everyone's going to say, oh, you're so hot, you're so sexy, all this shit. But you don't know what, go what goes through my mind. Like, I do not like my body. Like, from here down, nope. I know my face is good looking. Like, I thank braces for a lot of it. I try and clean up my face as much as possible. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to be a little obnoxious on social media with my face and my stories, whatnot. But really, when it comes down to... I post that stuff, I post all of it because I love music, I love what music entails, I try and strive for how depressed I am and how mentally unstable I am through music, art, whatever, you name it. I don't have a lot of friends for a reason, and a lot of it has to do with not only my, ments no, no, my mental <sighs> my mental stability the T, the mental stability, and also I've grown to realize who my true friends are, and it's sad to come down to it that I basically have subtle, what's up, Missy? Um, so basically it's like I'm set on doing my own thing, striving to be better for just myself and focusing on myself because at this point with how things are going, I just really need to focus on myself. Um, I'm divorced twice in the past three years. I know, woohoo, I'm the best at relationships. It's great. Um, but relationships at this point for me is not the thing for me. And <laughs> you're so funny. Um, I sure do. I actually do, um, uh, watch him every once in a while when he updates. Um, had a chance to meet him uh, when he was in, crossing through Boise a while back, but didn't get a chance to, of course. Can I help you? Do you, do you need help with something? <sighs> uh. Like, I really... Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I actually had a chance to meet him. I had a chance to meet quite a few. Uh, yeah, like 2019, fuck, 10 or 11 years ago. God, that is, time flies when you're having fun. Oh, man. Girl, we're old as fuck. 
Yeah. Yeah. That's ridiculous. It is so crazy how long and how much time has flown. I can't even rem remember the past three years of my life. It's so fucking crazy. Yeah, Missy, I'm really trying hard to get back in this YouTube game because I feel like I have a lot to update. Um, anyways, surgery has been, been on a back burner for insurance reasons, and I feel like I really need to focus on myself. Um, so... Let's get down to the point of the fact. Will you stop being the center of tension? Lila. I have a beautiful dog, and I could not ask for anyone better, even though you are an ass. And she knows it. Oh my god, I wish I could screenshot that right now. But I can't. Okay. So, a lot of you guys have known that my parents and I, or my family in general, have been really neck and neck with a lot of things. And it really does suck. Because... I mean, family should be your family either way, yada, yada, yada. We all know the spiel. So about, I don't know, about 20, 20. Wow, I can't. Really? I didn't know that. That's weird. I mean, <laughs> not weird in a bad way. That's just small world. Um, getting distracted. Squirrel brain, ADHD, you name it. Um, anyways, family has been tough for the past two and a half years. Uh, I actually wrote my mom a letter saying my feelings, whatever, you name it. She wrote back about a week later, and for the past, it'll be almost a month. Almost a, almost a month almost a year since I brought my family back into my life. And I would say I am in a better place with them for the most part. I mean, they, they obviously have their opinions. We all do. And I've grown to just, okay, I understand them. Just respect me. I'll respect you. And I think my whole family has realized that with me, that all I've been asking for is respect and love for who I am because I am still, excuse me, I am still who I am. It's just my gender and it's just who I want to be happy in myself. If that makes sense for the gist of it. Um, but yeah, it's been good. I will say that ups and downs, we all have them. This is a really good song. Uh, I will say for the past three years, uh, damn, this is already at 20 minutes. Oops. Whoever's watching this, I hope you're having an ideal time because I usually write everything down and I don't know where my list went for that matter. Um, <laughs> so I will say that not only has my physical being has changed, but also my mental health. I know I've been saying that quite a bit. Um, Recently, I actually just bumped up my dosage from 0.25 milliliters of testosterone bi-weekly 
to 0.5 weekly, 0.5 every week, 0.5 weekly. So it is literally double a month of my testosterone intake. And it is almost, it has almost been a month since I've been switched to that different dosage. And I will say it is, it, it's almost like I'm hitting puberty again because not only am I seeing like more of my facial hair grow in, like I will vouch for you that I have not shaved completely clean since October 30th of last year. And I've been trimming, like lightly trimming my scraggly hobo beard. Because look at this. Like, this is ridiculous on how much, like, it's, it's, it could go up to two inches long. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure if you could, you could braid this crap. Because, like, even this side, like, my right side is absolutely terrible because it is my worst side. Um, if you've seen my Instagram, YouTube, or YouTube, Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, whatever, you name it, it I am always faced to my left side. You want to know why? Because I feel like my left side is probably my good side because A, it has my nose ring. B, it, you could definitely see my freckles that are around here. That's a zit. Don't mind that. But my whole left side is fully connected. And I remember, since Missy's on here, I remember almost 10 year, 10, 11 years ago, whatever you name it, I would literally, like, make myself have a chin strap. And that is... <laughs> Oh, God, I'm such a dweeb. Um, that is the one thing, number one thing that I've always wanted was a chin, at least a chin strap. Because if you if you have seen my family, they don't have a full beard whatsoever. Like, I got shit, shitty jeans, shitty jeans. Um, but straight up, like, I would go all the way through. And as you can see, from what you can see, like it probably starts, yeah, so I'm about a half inch of baldness right there. And then full shit. And then I'm, I have like maybe two to three hairs like right through here. Like, they're very, very, very faint. Um, but I have a gnarly neck beard going on. Like, it just goes straight down, like, right through here. Um, but as you can see, my left side is my good side. And I can, like, I literally, like, mess with this crap all the time. My soul patch is a little faint. But you can still kind of see it. My wet back stash. I don't mean that in any sort of way. But I've always called it my beaner stash. Um, it has definitely grown, I want to say, in the past month. Because I shoot you not. Excuse you. Um, I have this really long, gnarly hair over here that likes to curl into my mouth. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I've been keeping up on it, trimming it, whatever. I mean, the other day a customer told me to shave and I'm like, what do you got going on, bro? I'm like, I don't know. Men, men I fucking despise, but you, whatever. I haven't probably trimmed in over a month and a half. Just because I really want to try and, like, grow it out for a full year. Like I said, I haven't fully shaved my entire face since October 30th of last year. And I really want to keep, 
I want to say that I've kept up my um, stop. Stop. I will say I have kept up on my trimming because for some reason my hair really likes to grow fast and become very scraggly. Like, look at this. Look. That's ridiculous. I, I feel like a hobo. Layla, you're pushing me off. You need to relax, Thanks, girl. Anyways, I'm still getting distracted on crap. What else has changed? Um. Well, as you can see, I've moved back to my original spot. I'm not, I will say I'm not in Idaho anymore. Uh, Idaho is the worst place I have ever been to, and I don't know why I kept going back when I did. But, you know, I work there, I work in Idaho, and I live where I'm at, and it's definitely taking a toll on me. I will say that. Uh, but yeah, it, it has definitely been something different. Um, yeah, it, it's been a crazy ride the past three years. And I know I can't really say that much, but I will say that it has been a journey for not only myself, but for, I'm sure a lot of other people. Cause I'm sure a lot of you have like, no, I've noticed quite a bit that I have been going through way too much in the past three years. And it's just a lot. Like, I can't even begin to where my mental health has been in the past few years. But what can you do? I mean, we all go through our spells. We all go through such shit times. that I know a lot of people could probably relate, but I can't express enough of the fact that I couldn't ask for better support, definitely. Um, but Layla, God. Anyways, I know I can't really say that much. It's already late, and I've already gone through this for a half hour. God. Which, I'm sure if you notice, I've become such a potty mouth that at this point, I really don't care. The world sucks. Humans suck. I've learned that. That's another thing you should know in the past three years, that I've noticed that a lot of people suck. And... It's just crazy to me how much time has changed. Like, I'm pretty sure I'm going to look through my old YouTube videos and be like, what was I doing? Where did the time go? Like, it, it is just crazy to me how much time has flown. And I feel so bad because I strive so hard to make people happy and to show no matter how bad your mental illness is, no matter how bad your life is going bad, you can still be happy. And that's what I try and do. I really try and be happy, even if it's being all alone. So please, if you guys want anything, want to see anything, whatever. Oh, I will say that um, my business, The Hero... Uh, hero organization 
H E R O, obviously, means helping organize, helping educate regarding orientation. So basically, what I'm doing with that is it's gonna it's gonna make big things. It's gonna launch at the end of the month, and I am so stoked. You don't even know. That'll be the next YouTube video about my business. So. You're going on Instagram live. But anyways, if you guys need me whatsoever, anything you want to know at all, please let me know. You're going on Instagram. All right. Peace, guys. Let me know if you need anything. Um, like I said, Give me YouTube videos to chat about, talk about, whatever, you name it. My business is going up at the end of the month. And this is my YouTube channel. Peace, guys.